Hi guys and welcome to the Clean Cloud Security video where we'll be describing how to safeguard against theft, fraudulent activity on your POS, how to monitor suspicious activity using the reporting system and how to track staff activity and more. So before we start you should note that whenever I refer to the administrator throughout this video I'm simply re referring to the Clean Cloud account holder. Okay, So the person and the email address that initially purchased our software before any other staff members or user accounts were added. So this leads me to the administrator email address. Now this is the email that again was initially used to sign up the account. Make sure that this email address belongs to the administrator or administrators and is not a communal email that all staff can access. Okay, This is because alerts from the system are sent to the administrator's email with staff tracking information such as when orders are deleted, uh, so make sure only the administrator or administrators have access to this email account. Okay, so if you have already signed up with a communal email and you are the store administrator, please contact our support team to change the administrator email to a private one of your choosing. So I'll be referring to a unique four digit pin also throughout this video. Now each staff account you create under menu users, I'll show you in a moment, will be assigned a unique four digit pin so that the POS can differentiate between each staff member. If you're looking to monitor staff activity closely, then it's vital that these codes are not shared between staff and that as often as possible, your staff are requested to sign in using their own pin so the point of sale can track the activity under their name, okay? So staff knowing each other's pins means they can clock each other in and out of the point of sale when maybe they might not be present or even open up the cash drawer or cash up under a different user's name. Okay, so this brings me on to my first point, that is four staff to enter pin after X minutes of inactivity. So this is what we can see here on screen now. It's a great way to make sure that your point of sale is tracking the activity of the right staff member. It basically locks out your staff from using the point of sale until a unique four digit pin has been entered. And when it is entered, it changes the initials in the top right hand side to the initials of the staff member that has most recently signed in. Okay, so therefore any actions following are recorded under that staff member's name. So you decide what the value of X is in this setting, but for visual purposes, this is what it looks like. So I cannot do anything until one of my staff members has entered their unique four digit pin. And now I have access to it and it's recorded under my initials. Do remember that the more frequently your staff have to enter their four digit pin, the more accurate the tracking is as it is less likely a staff member will use the point of sale under another user's name or initials. We find this setting under menu, admin, store settings, and we see it here. Remember, whenever you make adjustments, do click submit at the bottom. So this also brings me on to the four staff to clock in at the beginning of a shift. Okay, so we see that just here. Make sure this is turned blue. And what that does is every time a staff member enters their four digit pin at the start of a shift, for instance, if I enter Chris's pin, I will also not be able to use the POS until I have clocked in and the system has registered my presence. Okay. Now I can exit this and I can begin my day to day work under the initials Chris. Okay. I'll just sign back into the administrator's account so I have access to the admin settings. Another point to show here is four staff to enter the starting cash in draw at beginning of shift, okay? Now, just to be sure that there are no discrepancies in the reporting or value of the cash in the register, this value can be compared to the value of cash entered into the POS by the staff member in the previous day's cash up, okay? So we can compare the two values, and if there's any discrepancies, then we know who, can, who to target as the cash up, and the staff entering the cash at the beginning of the shift are both recorded. Moving down, we move to disable orders, edit or deletion during selected time periods. Okay. This setting blocks any orders that were created between the specified dates to be edited, deleted or modified in any way. We recommend setting the first date as the date you started your Clean Cloud account 
or started taking orders and that you continually update the second date to keep your newer more recent orders safe okay so this in practice I will demonstrate now if I go to menu search and I search for an order that falls within the dates that we have set okay I will not be able to go through and edit it or delete it in any way track cash draw payouts so if we go to menu admin and we type in track we have track cash draw payouts make sure this is turned blue and that means every time the cash drawer is opened it records the staff member last logged into the POS so reports for this can be found under metrics data export and we can scroll to the export type select payouts pay-ins or cash up history we can then select the time period we want the data to represent we can also find recent cash draw payouts under the initials cash up and under this tab here okay we can also filter it down by our staff members This brings me on to the initials. So the initials in the top right hand side, we use them to, to for the POS to know who is completing certain actions on the point of sale, but we also use them to track the staff hours. Okay, so for staff to clock in at the beginning of the shift means staff cannot use the point of sale until their four digit pin has been entered and clock in has been pressed. We can see the reports for staff hours under Again, metrics. Staff hours. We can also see them under the staff hours tab here and customize the time period. And we can also see them under users, reports, view hours. Okay. By going to menu users, we can restrict what staff members can see. So here we see all the ticks. The administrator has access to everything. Driver, for instance, has access to nothing. So if we go into Chris and we remove his access or permissions, all of the permissions for what he can see and do, he will only be able to perform the most basic tasks in the point of sale software. Okay, so if I log into Chris's account using his unique pin and I try to go to metrics or admin, I will not be able to see it. Okay, also if I try to edit or delete any existing orders, it will not let me. So, this is how we can reduce their actions and what they can do. Whereas if I log straight back into the administrator account who has access to all areas, we can see in menu, everything appears again. Driver tracking. Now, if you're using our existing pickup and delivery features, you can see the exact location of your drivers in real time if they're using the Clean Cloud Driver app that comes included with all professional subscriptions. Simply go to menu, admin pickup and delivery now please note pickup and delivery and website these two settings are only visible to the admin okay so even if you grant your staff members access to the admin settings under menu if they have access to this they will not be able to go in and edit pickup and delivery or the website only the administrator can do that once we get here we go to driver app and track driver location we make sure this is turned blue okay once this is done we can go to menu users and here view driver locations it will open up a map and pinpoint the exact location of our driver using the clean cloud driver app
Next, we can restrict staff access to the Clean Cloud account or the point of sale to unique IP addresses. Okay. So if we go to our admin and scroll down, we can see here restrict staff access to these IP addresses. An IP address uniquely identifies a computer, tablet, laptop, or mobile on a network. Okay. By locking access to your point of sales to certain IP addresses, for instance, only the computers you wish your staff to access the system from, it means nobody else can log into your store account on any other device in any other location other than those you have identified in this box. They cannot use their login details at any other location, for instance, at home to log into your account and mess with any of the settings or revenues or orders. So please note that the administrator or account owner can still access their POS, their account from any IP outside these, those stated here. So for instance, if you're the store owner and you're on holiday, you can still log into your clean cloud account and check up on everything outside of these IP addresses. It's only other staff members and users that can only access them through the addresses stated here. It's very simple to find out your IP address. If you need any assistance with this function, then please let us know. We'll be happy to help. Moving on, we will go to our menu metrics page and we can see the different tracking features Clean Cloud has for the staff. So if we go down to staff performance, here we can see the staff sales, credit history, discount history, user edits, deletions, and cash up history. So here it's worth noting that any deletions made by any staff members causes the POS to send an immediate email to the administrator stating that an order has been deleted and it also states by which staff member. Okay, so this is why the administrator's email is important. Um, so this doesn't go unnoticed or staff member can't log in and delete the notification email. Now, if we go to the data export, all of these can be downloaded into a CSV file and then exported or imported into an Excel spreadsheet to interpret the data. They're very simple to do, but here you'll be able to see the cash up history, payouts, pay-ins, staff hours, and all these other reports. So moving on, we then have the menu search function. Okay, so this is where you can see all the order history, edits, times, and dates uh, the order had been processed and who moved along each stage of the order workflow. Okay, for instance, if we leave them all blank, it will show us all the orders to date. And as you can see, we can break down the order, the customer, the staff member, staff interactions with the order, which is very important, the times and the dates and the cash and who took payment okay it tracks all staff interactions with orders you just type in the order id in question or you filter it down until you have the order you are trying to investigate up here then the time and dates here can maybe be matched with in-store cctv footage from the same date and time if you have that available for more clar clarification on who processed the order We then move on to the audits page. Audits are used to see exactly what is within your store at any one point in time to ensure no theft is happening. We find that under the ready page, reports, and then run audit. There is really only one way in which your staff can steal from you, which is where they take payment in cash but don't log it into the system. So this is one of the many reasons why we recommend only doing card on file transactions However, to prevent this happening, we have the audit feature on the ready page, which we recommend doing at the end of the last shift once a week. So by randomly weekly or bi-weekly auditing all the stock in store and reconciling it with all the stock the POS says should be in store, any extra orders appearing in the POS that are not in store could mean someone is abusing the system. Likewise for the reverse. Any orders in store, but that are not marked on the till, you cannot find them on the till, maybe it means someone is abusing the system. So this is a very simple way of doing a stock check, essentially. 
Finally, this brings me on to cards on file, which if used properly can make sure no cash transactions are being handled by your staff. You can ask for clients to add card details before placing orders online under menu, admin, pickup and delivery, payments. Okay. You can automatically set customers default payment methods as pay by saved card as well. So we can set the whole store default payment method as pay by saved card on file, which means down here it would always be pay with saved card. Or we can individually set customers default payment methods case by case basis pay with save card therefore every time this customer is selected pay with save card is the option available so thanks for your time if you have any other questions regarding security or tracking please contact your account manager or our support team on support at clean.cloud thank you very much for watching <laughs>